Welcome to this uh, shortwave radio channel and we're going to do some uh, tuning around the bands with the Texan PL600 today, including some single sideband um, reception on some videos. What's nice about the BFO of the PL600 and also on the PL680 is that, you know, I was talking yesterday on the DGND 1103 how you had to kind of focus where was the middle of the setting. The PL600 has a little dent. When you tune it, when you turn the BFO, you could feel that here, there's a little dent that you feel when you actually tune. And that, you know that it's centered. So it adds uh, some, you know, usefulness to the single side main tuning because you now know where you are centered and makes it a little easier to focus on single sideband transmissions when that happens. So we're going to tune at 2035 UTC, the 9 to 10 megahertz band that mostly contains the 31 meter um, international broadcast band. The bottom part has a little bit of utility. So what we're going to do, we're going to switch to single sideband for that but we will of course uh, focus on the uh, international broadcast band a lot so 9 to 10 megahertz tuning at 2035 UTC I'm going to change the step I haven't used this radio in such a long time there we go An analog PLL tuner, so no chuffing or muting. As you see here, this is a uh, signal from uh, Boston, Massachusetts. One of the biggest problems of the PL600 is that when using an external antenna, like I'm doing now, the ML830. It um, actually has a little bit of kind of wobble in the single sideband signal. But this is definitely one of the first um, one of the first Texan PL uh, P Texan receivers actually that I purchased uh, that was a little higher end than the uh, I think the first one was the R ninety twelve. So now we're going to switch off. You have the choice of a narrow or wide filter. WINB 9265 kilohertz. This is uh, Supreme Master TV via WRMI 9395 kHz. 110%. LQ. The Robert 110% LQ. In Very weak, but probably Greece. Exterior de España. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, this crashy volume after years. This this radio is at least. This is probably purchased not that long before the D G D eleven L three. So it's probably about ten years old right now. So this on 9720, I'm going to check out what this could be. Seven two zero. At this time, twenty thirty. Uh, there's something called. Let me check it out. The only station I see at twenty thirty is something called CRI Music, and it would be actually transmitted from the uh, from China direct. So I guess thirty one meters is open to China. Uh, CRI Music. So there's some music, and it has the fast um, propagation feeding that uh, I would expect from a signal from uh, Asia. WRMI 9955 kilohertz. WWCR 9980. And then we are with WWV time signal at 10 megahertz. What is the negative side of uh, of two negatives of the PL600? Unfortunately, is on outdoor antennas that little um, kind of instability of single sideband tone, uh, which will affect when you listen to voice broadcast, for example. And the other one is the audio is a little harsh on the 600. There's actually a mod on the internet to fix this and uh, make this the sound a little better. Um, that probably was one of the uh, main complaints of the radio at the time. It still works and still uh, going on after about 10 years and this was my main portable for quite a while before I had a lot of other portables to play with. So that was the tuning from 9 to 10 megahertz at 2035 to 2041 UTC of the uh, 9 to 10 megahertz range on the Texan PL600 here in Montreal and the MLA 30 loop antenna outdoors. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.